Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil, Evil Viking 13 here. As General Dave cracks his neck right there, it's time to get back to work on my Minutemen Immigration Center, Dockyard, and Naval Facility at Kingsport Lighthouse, which I've been working on for quite a while now, and I think we are on the home stretch. As usual, I've been tinkering with things off camera so you guys don't get to see everything that I'm building before it's time to record the final tour with Joel. But we are going to be working on a couple of things together here in this next episode of the Let's Build series. First up, you guys voted and we are keeping the rounded corners on the administration building. It gives it some character and the idea here is that this building would have been in place perhaps as a federal park administration facility for the lighthouse before the war. The Minutemen would have just converted it into their barracks slash headquarters. So yeah, it's okay if it looks a bit more permanent. Some of you guys have been suggesting some kind of bunker along the cliffside as well. Now there's obviously no rock face below that just yet, but I am toying with the idea and I kind of like it. I'm also working a bit on junkifying, if you will, this rather pristine covenant style fence. This would have been built by the Minutemen, but this is a much larger settlement than Covenant. It doesn't have that uh, new fancy neighborhood feel to it, so the fence looks a little bit out of place. So I'll be adding some bits of junk fence to it, some supporting columns that have fallen over, some stuff like that, so it just looks a little bit less pre-placed. You guys can see I'm toying with some barbed wire and some other fence pieces over here just to supplement how it looks. Might add some scaffolding too. I am going to have to watch how much I build here because as usual the scope of this settlement has grown since I first started. Before I start working on the interior of our barracks though, let me show you guys my idea for what's going to be upstairs. Now I had talked about putting the reactor on some kind of rooftop location covered up in armored plating. But I think instead I'm going to put the reactor underneath the stairs back here. It's going to be a tight fit. That's because I have a very particular use case for the rooftop section. Because you guys pointed out something else that uh, was on my list, but I had actually completely forgotten about. So we've built our immigration facilities down on the dockyards. You guys have seen those. Uh, you've got your doctor's hut up here, which I'm going to populate with our uh, wasteland doctor to check your medical records before you're allowed into the Commonwealth. Usually to head to a Minutemen settlement, I would imagine. But you guys asked, what would happen if you've got like a serious, serious problem and you're not just getting a checkup before you're allowed in, like something is actually going to cause you to be detained. Well, you guys have a point. We need a detention facility. So what I'm going to build here on a section of the rooftop is using cinder blocks a detention facility. And the reason I'm going to use cinder blocks is because this would not have been a part of whatever structure was originally here. This would have been added by the Minutemen. So cinder block is definitely a pretty basic construction material that we could have pulled off ourselves. Make sure we're not clipping too badly right there. Can I get through this window? Oh, I cannot. So I'm stuck back here. Wait. Yeah, here. <laughs> so instead of putting the reactors on the rooftop back here like I had talked about, I'm going to build our detention facility. Not a prison. You're just detained. For now. And that will give me direct access to my administration section on the top floor here, which works out quite nicely. 
What kind of rooftop should we use? Uh, let's look at our metal rooftops. I feel like something from Snap and Build would be good, but Snap and Build got removed from both the Xbox One Mod Workshop and the Nexus, so I'm trying not to use Snap and Build anymore, which really makes me sad. Frontal Shack Roof. There we go. I like this rooftop. Nice and bare bones. Just scoot it that way just a tiny bit. Ooh, that is dark. In fact, it is getting dark overall. So it's time to get some power running. I do have game time unpaused for this build episode because I want to start looking at how things look with electricity uh, and nighttime. Place a custom conduit there. Okay. So that should give us some power. I think our prisoner area is going to have to have a cage light. That is, in fact, the one I wanted. Ceiling lights. There's a nice cage one right there. Should do the trick. I think I might make it into two stages, guys, where you've got, like, an inner cell, perhaps for especially dangerous persons, and then a more larger open space for the less dangerous ones. So I'm going to want to go to SKE, Structures, Homemaker Fences, and then whew, Miscellaneous. We've got some actual jail cell pieces. This we could have dragged from one of the many, many police stations in the Boston area. Just ripped it out of the walls and dragged it up here. So I'll use an actual jail piece there, but to make things look a little bit scrappier, I'm gonna use some rusted chain link fence to board up the windows. I'll do it from the outside so that prisoners couldn't just rip it off however it was hung. Give it a slight, oh, not a tilt that way. Slight tilt. That away. So now we've got our inner sanctum. While we're under the homemaker section, I can grab a homemaker door. Let's see, structures, doors. There we go. Because, yep, we should have an actual cell door. Nice. Thank you, homemaker. I'm thinking for the furniture inside the cell, guys, we're going to do, oh, uh, I'd say the G2M uh, hanging beds. I love those. I use them all the time. You guys get super bare bone stuff here. That'll be our cell for the most dangerous detainees or a danger to the other settlements out in the Commonwealth. Whew, come on, collision. What are you doing? All right. I'll do it by hand. Ish. They're going to need a toilet, but I think that's all they're going to get. I think these guys out here might get a privacy screen, though, for their toilet in the corner. At least from the other detainees. There'll be some benches in here. Yeah, I like that. This lighting, though, is not quite doing it for me. Ah, no, the wall. 
<laughs> the wall, the ceiling. There we go. So let's solve this lighting problem first because you guys are probably half blind right now. We can use our modded homemaker light. Let's see, how does this one look? Nice and bright, but no shadows. And I want shadows in this room. Eh, that'll do. That's what I was hoping for, guys, were the dramatic shadows. Yeah, even though it's not perfect, I think that light is going to be our best option. Let's go ahead and get those toilets installed. Let's see, and because these would have also been installed by the Minutemen, they should probably be a little bit junky. I'm wondering if I should have some kind of privacy something in between the uh, more dangerous detainees and general population, if you will. Move the prison wall over here. I'll add some rough brick corners, like this wall was knocked out by the Minutemen. There we go. I've moved things around and got our lighting reset up. I think this is going to work better, guys, where the dividing wall that's going to go right here, again, still out on the rooftop, will make a lot more sense for dividing up our more dangerous prisoners from everyone else. I just got to thinking, like, what if someone is just detained because their background check doesn't go through and they've got kids or whatever and there's like a bunch of murderous raiders in the next cell. Just bars in between them. Like, that's not good. General Dave wouldn't do that. So let's put some cinder block between us here. Nice. I'll just use this to cover up a window, I think. So there's our dangerous prisoner's cell. Now we need some lighting for the holding cell. There we go, I'll just use that small one. And that won't affect our light over here too much. Could also put someone in chains. In the back of the room. Like a seriously dangerous prisoner. Yeah, let's do that. I think the chains from the mod that I use that adds them is under miscellaneous resources. Yep, prisoner shackles. They're probably a bit high there. I'll have to dress up one of my settlers as a raider and have him in there. <laughs> uh, what else we got in here? Okay. Pillory. Don't think that quite fits the theme of the rest of the settlement, but while I'm here in the resources category, let me go ahead and place our alert siren, which will go great down here at the park. And I can see that our electricity is not heading down the side of the building just yet. Gonna put a conduit on the wall here. Just a basic one. Did 
not go far enough, it looks like. Come on, reach. There we go. Does it work? Oh, no, because that power line is not connected to our main power structure just yet. Let me fix that, too, and then we'll finish putting some furniture in that uh, holding room. So I'm just going to attach it to the pole. Use place everywhere to bring it inside. And connect it. Now we have some light going on. And the air raid sirens all set to go as well. Cool. I did break my power link to the house, but as we won't be looking inside of there, you guys don't have to worry about it right now. But hey, look at that. Kingsport Lighthouse is relit by the Minutemen. There's a fun mod over on the Nexus here on PC that lets you restore power to it, which fits perfectly with this build I'm working on. Now, for our stairs, I'm going to scrap those cinder blocks. And we're going to put down the wooden and concrete house stairs right here for the back door. Alley-oop, and there we go. Alright, now for everyone else who might be detained, they'll get some smaller beds. Let's say perhaps two. But also a couch. No, just benches, I think. We'll do wooden benches or steel. Let's do steel benches. At this point, the Minutemen definitely know how to decorate a detention center. We'll use some scavenged vault supplies here. What else can we have? Um... Probably a sink as well. I guess. Do we need a sink for the other room too? Maybe. Yeah, I'll do a simple sink. That's all they get. Cool, guys. I wonder if there would be any kind of decorations in here. I would say no. One thing I want to add before I call these two rooms complete for now. Again, as most of you guys know, there is a final detail pass that I do off camera, if you will. Where I go through and add little details that you guys have come to expect for the builds. But even beyond that, I want to go ahead and put these broken bits of brick in to make it really look like I smashed these walls down. I'm going to actually glitch it like that. And there you have it. So this will be the command roof. I don't think I'm going to worry about putting armor plating over all these windows. I might cover up this one though because it's so close to the detention area. 
Turn snapping off. Surface snapping off. Just put a big old metal plate out there. Yeah, and I'll uh, do this one too because it opens up onto the admin area. But I'll leave this window open as a kind of firing port. I'll have that glitched completely in the wall. Oop. Fell down the stairs. And in here, we're going to cover up... Uh, let's say two of the windows. Leave that middle one open. And for downstairs... Do we have any smaller filler pieces, or is that just under, I think it's under wood and miscellaneous. I've got a mod that a long time ago added little bits of scrap wood and metal like this to stuff. So I'll use, let's see, a few boards. And also, and then also this metal piece right here. And actually, that metal piece would be great for sealing up all kinds of stuff around here, so I'm going to keep it out for now. We'll go around and seal up a bunch of these outside walls because I don't want people lobbing stuff right inside. that wooden one. I'll put a few of those up too. There it is. Do that one here. That looks good. No more windows over here. We've got our central support pillar. I almost want to put a half wall there. Let's light it first so you guys can see what's going on. Even though it looks like the sun is coming. I'll use some official lights this time. Just some basic ones. Where is the basic one? I guess it's just the light bulb, isn't it? Oh yeah. That'll do as far as light downstairs goes. Do just one upstairs. And I will leave this part of the hallway a little bit darker for guards who might be up there in the window. In fact, that'd be a great spot for a guard post. Let's put one there now. Defenses. No. S-K-E. Defense. Guard posts. Guard posts. There's the homemaker one. Just the rug, which is handy. For the admin area, I guess this would be where all of our naval exploits are planned, wouldn't it? Snap. Although the fact that the prisoner area opens up to it makes me a little bit concerned. I think we need to add a slight dividing wall. Let me see what I can come up with here, guys.
just looking to see what kind of door sections I have to work with. Just the plaster ones, it looks like. Oh man, that sucks. I was hoping to have a doorway that matched the wallpaper there. Got that wooden ish doorway. That could work if it didn't have so many windows in it. What else might we have? Nothing that would fit, I don't think. I really, really wanted to use these wallpapered walls with the wood across the bottom. Although perhaps I can make my own hallway. Let's see, guys. This is where the power of place everywhere is really going to come in handy. So that goes out to that tile. That should be about even right there. Let's place a doorway and see how it looks. We actually need a bit more space here. But I'll put the doorway down as reference. And I think I'm going to build the frame by hand. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. If I go to structures... Miscellaneous have access to some nice big wooden pillars which would make great door frames <laughs> if they weren't floating you know It's looking good. Now for the top piece. What do we have that I could use? Ah. I bet you if I shrank this nice looking brick section down, the bricks are kind of oversized as it is. That might not look too bad when combined with... Where did I have... I thought I have some smaller cross pillars. I thought I had some larger ones, but let's just use a small one and see how it looks. Or I could also use a big one and then just rotate it. Believe it or not, guys, this is not the first time I've built a door frame by hand. Yeah, it is going to be quite noticeable from the other side, though. Ah, so close. I shrink it down one peg. Now 
Okay. There we have it, guys. That door frame looks quite legit. There's just like a little bit of a pixel showing on the left right there. That should fix it there. All that just because I wanted to use these interior wallpapered walls. Oh man, guys, sometimes I wonder about me. My obsessiveness. But that gives us a room that could have been used for maybe the curator of the Kingsport Museum. That is now being used as the Minutemen's Naval Headquarters. <laughs> Do you guys remember? Oh man, how many episodes ago? Back in the beginning of this build, I was like, I don't think this would be a super fortified settlement. It's just a immigration port, right? And then I built a battle boat. And then a immigration, like, whole check area. And naval facilities. And a statue. And there's other hidden stuff you guys haven't seen yet. And all of a sudden, this build got really complex. I'm wondering... What stairs I should use. Because these would have been stairs that were part of the building. I'm worried that these might clip. Let's take a look. Yep, they're clipping. Could resize them a bit. So raise them up just a tiny bit. Let's make a unique room, that's for sure. Still clipping. So two resizes should do it. I think I will give this wall a rebuilt glass window. Oh, I'm going to put these over here as a reminder because I want to add those greebles to the side. I know where I can find some glass for the window. I've got a nifty cabin mod installed. And there is a rebuilt window. It's not quite what I had in mind. It's a bit too rustic for the building, but it also gives it a ramshackle look because the Minutemen would have had to repair that window or seal it up like the others. So, you guys vote. Should I go for a more traditional piece of glass? I've got some that I could kind of resize to fit in there if I tried for long enough. Or should I just leave the kind of funky looking glass as is? And got some greebles here for the outside of the building. Make it look much more convincing. Nice. And this one over here. I won't bother with these on the flip side. Just because... You won't see it nearly as often. I am seeing a slight clipping of this wall through the outside, so I'll shift it a smidgen to use the technical term to the left, and that should fix it. It's definitely save here. <laughs> I haven't saved in a while. Okay guys, that's all I'm going to do with you guys for the admin building. I'm going to save all of the decorating and the barracks area down here for just uh, me going through and doing it myself. So I want it to be a surprise. I've got some uh, ideas, some, some custom textures possibly to go into there. Again, don't want to spoil the entire build. So, what we're going to do to finish off today's episode is Junkify... 
this wall here. Make it look lived in. And we're also going to add some junkification and some defenses to out here to make it look less structured and, uh, you know, pre-placed. Miscellaneous. I can never remember where exactly the official raider stuff is with all the spikes and whatnot. So let's just go to Homemaker, Structures, Miscellaneous, Raider, and Super Mutant Objects. Every good settlement needs giant spikes. Resize those quite a bit. Make some big, big spikes here. Do the same with one of these pairs. Say one, two, three, four times. Big industrial spikes. place it inside of the build area and then drag it out. Well, that's helping to break up the silhouette of the wall, that's for sure. I especially don't want climbers where the prisoner area is. It's solid cinder block, so that would be quite the rescue attempt. But you can't be too careful. Resize that one a few times. <laughs> it's looking like a military prison now from the outside. Yeah, that is most definitely imposing. Is very imposing. Can I get back up here? Yeah, even though the prisoners are held on this side of the building, I would not want to attack this side at all. Let me go into the free cam for a second. Oh no, someone's stuck back here. I'll have to watch for that for the final tour. You know guys, I was thinking about putting spikes in that courtyard, but we've got so many along the walls, why bother? Why bother? Okay. Let's add just a few more of those spikes right here at the blank spot. I think a couple of wall sections. That ought to do it. In fact, just to break up the repeating silhouette, I'm going to remove that wall section entirely. And let's do this. Do we have any kind of barrier I can put over the window? No, not there. Gotta go to structures and then metal, walls. I'll just use one of these again. Although I guess I could actually glitch a wall piece into the wall if I wanted to have a fake window, but not on the outside. Let's leave it with just the corrugated metal. Hmm. 
And those are useful too for sealing up the window. And just because we don't want people scaling the walls right outside of the prison, even though I'm trying to break up, you know, the repetition of those covenant walls, I am still going to go back and replace them with some of the homemaker fences. Got a little bit of light bleed coming through from below. Wish I hadn't noticed that. Now I gotta fix it. Okay. That should do it right there. Let's see, one more wall section might actually do it here, guys. Let's do this one. We'll do that one like that. And then these spikes like this. And then under miscellaneous fences. Is there something I can put to fill that gap? Maybe a chunk of barbed wire, perhaps? Oh, that's cool. We have the wrought iron fences, too. The rock walls. Tire defenses. <laughs> Here we go. That's how to make things nice and junky. Piece of wrought iron fence just jammed right up there. I was going to say, let me place it already. Now I can move it where I want it. There we go. That helps to make that covenant fence look less repeating for sure. What am I stuck on? A tire? I'm using the Place Everywhere mod to turn off the workshop timeout where I get kicked out of it for going outside of the green zone. I'm not sure how long I can walk before that becomes a problem. <laughs> Don't want to push it too much up this wall. Grief. There's our side door. So these covenant fences will be staying. Covenant walls. I might supplement them with a few pieces of the junk fence to make things look again just a bit scrappy. That was already a scrappy one right there. Oops. That would help deflect incoming rockets and grenades too. Gonna position that one like that and rotate it a bit. Oop, don't want to scale it down though. And I can add some plywood to the outside of the fence to make it look like they had to add some extra supports to it. So how I imagine this wall, guys, is that the Minutemen have pretty good ability, kind of like at Covenant, for brick laying, but on this rocky surface, without proper tools, they had to kind of shore things up here and there with extra bits of wood and whatnot. Plus, it just makes it more visually interesting. Like if I put one on the inside here, too. Much better than just the plain old walls. 
which I will actually leave perfectly plain right here because this section would have been carefully built because it's just so short and flat as far as the surface goes. Yeah. It's looking wonderfully scrappy. Move this one for a second and take a look outside. What am I stuck on now? Let's not put the supports outside the wall. I think a great ladder for somebody trying to get up. Okay. Whew. Now that is some serious fortification. And I'm sure you guys have noticed that I have used some haphazardly installed security gates ripped from various military facilities as the outer perimeter to the Kingsport Lighthouse Complex. And that goes all the way over here to the edge where we've got plenty of turrets to cover the open space, but I wanted to use the grates, the security grates, so that it would feel, again, ramshackle, but in a different way with all these bits that I've leaned here and there. And also because I don't want it to feel like a complete walled-in complex. Like, this is supposed to be the welcome area, you know? So, people arriving, as they're in the park that we built last episode, can look outside and kind of see the rest of the Commonwealth while still being safe. There's plenty of turrets, don't get me wrong. As far as the trees go, guys, that's one thing I have not yet decided on. A few of you had a good point that trees wouldn't really grow like this in the sand anyway. And a lot of you seem to really want the living trees, but what I might do, because this is a pretty windy beach if all the flags are any indication, uh, I may remove a number of these trees and just keep a couple of the dead ones along the path, like the Minutemen had tried to get them to grow here and things had not quite cooperated. This is already turning into an extra long episode though, so before I go and call this one complete for today, what I'm going to do guys is we're going to build a little base for this bunker. I want to see how it looks with some supports under it. So I'm gonna go to concrete floors. I'm gonna actually use the Bethesda concrete for once. Get it lined up more or less square. How would that work with a small piece? Almost. We'll go like that. And if Bethesda's measuring system is correct, this should be right on the corner. Nope, a bit past it actually. I've got some plans for that, don't you guys worry. Where's that snap point? That one, that one, I guess I don't need the ones in the center because while the floor is transparent from below, you won't be able to see the foundation in the center at all. I'm gonna turn snapping off, put this one in the corner. In fact, I might put this one rotated as well. No. I'll leave that one like it was. That one goes like that. Let's get it lined up. Right there, but right. Nope. 
Or is it... I want the height correct, then I'll adjust the other parts myself. I want to create that corner just like that. it out just a little bit. It's alright though. Just not liking how this one corner is turning out, guys. As far as the angle goes. Whoop. That's not the right axis. I might do it like that. That works. I'm going to add some rocks. That's what I was saying by... I have a plan for this. To just make it look a little bit more natural, although that looks good right there. I'll add one piece right... Let's turn it snapping off and just do it like right there. That fits very neatly onto the rock on this side. Take a look with the workshop turned off. You know, I was going to add some rocks along the lip here, but I kind of like the concrete base being on top of this cliff side. Instead, I'm just going to add a small rock here on this corner to fill that gap. Yeah, that looks like it was built right into the mountainside. Perhaps once the war, not the nuclear one, but the traditional war, really began, the military might have decided that, hey, this lighthouse could be a good observation point, even though it's a museum. <laughs> I don't know. These would have to be these two buildings right here, along with the lighthouse and this house. It have to be buildings that were here before the war to make sense. Let's add some stairs. I'll go with the warehouse stairs. And we'll scoot him to the left slightly. There we are. Yep, there's our floor looking good. So yeah, let's add that rock and call it a day. Decorations, landscaping, rocks. These are from Northland Diggers, I believe, not Homemaker, which I generally use. Oh yeah, it's outside the zone. Gotta place it there first. I've gotten so used to the place everywhere mod that when the game gives me like the you can't do this sound it surprises me because I haven't heard it in so long. There's the base for our bunker which conveniently for the Minutemen makes a great view makes for a great view of those dirty children of Adam over there. Wait can I shoot him from here? Yep. How did he not die? That was a 4.2 time attack. Oh, this is glorious, guys. I can shoot them from the bunker. Now that's good security. Also, Bethesda doesn't understand how internal magazines work with the lever action rifle. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Now that I've stirred up some trouble, made some great progress. This. Covenant wall is looking much, much better. Check that out. Awesome. And I now have a very solid plan for the rest of the admin building and the bunker. And you know what, guys? This might be the last Let's Build episode for this project. I think uh, I've got a good bit of work to do on my own still. But things are moving right along. For now, though, 
Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, leave your suggestions down in the comments. Get them in quick. This build is approaching the station, if you will. And I'll see you guys next time.